Hi guys, I've just come on to do a, um, a couple of projects, yes, again, <laughs> and because um, I've been quite a busy bee, because I have the weirdest sleeping hours you could possibly imagine, so I have to do something with myself. So first project to share is this handbag that I've made. It's quite an unusual closure on it as well. It's got nice ribbon for things. Sorry about the glare, folks. Nothing I can do about it. It's this light bulb. So yeah, to open it, we just lift up these two flaps, she says. Yeah, and that one. Lift that one up and it opens up. It's quite a large space inside and it's a nice treat holder, stroke, little gift bag. It closes quite easily. But yeah, I had quite an unusual closure on it, so I, I might even do a tutorial on, on that one at some point. So, yeah, that's that. So, it's that one. And I did another handbag, because I started going through a bit of a little handbag fetish. Every woman has a handbag fetish. So yes, I did this one, which is quite angled. So it's a posh one, very posh. With a nice bow here, and a flap. And these are little red buttons with some bling. And then along the back, just the buttons and the blings. So you can tell the back from the front because there's a bow. And it's also quite large. It measures eight by six, eight across by six up. And there's about three inches worth at the bottom. Compared to about an inch and two inches at the top. So there's plenty of room for putting in all your goodies and stuff. It makes a lovely gift bag. So yeah, I'd recommend making one of those. I think you can find a tutorial to that on May May Made It. And she's a great, fantastic YouTuber. Um, she's obviously a lot bigger than me. She's got something like 300 million subscribers or something daft. But um, yeah, so there's that. And the tutorial was very easy to follow. So yeah, bigging up May May on that one. So the next one was this. And this is, well, it just looks like an ordinary gift box, but, and the bow's handmade as well, that's paper, but look at this, woohoo, it's a waterfall card gift box, so we go like this. And they all do it. And you put your little photos in there, little mementos in there, journaling in there. All of it. And then obviously, oh, I didn't do that one very well. And then you can obviously put a little gift in the centre there. Or I suppose you could do an accordion pull out. So you can have more room for more photos, but I thought it was best to leave that um, as it was and have that like that. So yeah, there's that. And I'll pop that back on just now in a minute. Then there's these that I've made. Now I don't know if anybody, any of you know this, but I do make jewellery. And um, so I've been making planner charms. Because I went out to see if I could buy any and I couldn't see any that I liked at all. So this was my first one. If you can see that. The charms on there. It's all um, nautical themed, that one. So yeah, and I made the little box for them to go in as well. 
so it's just a nice personal touch for whoever gets it if they've got a nice little handmade box they can keep and use for other things and then there's this one this one's got a blue tassel on and it's got hope there and Harry Potter and uh, baby bottle and love hearts and foxes and Cupid's arrow and yeah just all kinds of pretty little sparklies that's also come in its own little box I love making the boxes because they're quite therapeutic to make you can just sit there and knock a few out in an hour and it's, it's just like I said lovely therapeutic and enjoy doing it and so they, then there was this one and this one's got a bead, couple of beads on pearls and a cupid's arrow and um, a bell and a little musical note so yeah if you can see those this was a tassel as well a shop bought tassel which is quite unusual for me i normally make them but i just haven't had the time so i'm gonna have to just sit down and resolve to make a few tassels so yeah those are my projects on the go well actually no tell a lie there is another one there is this the biggest rosette you've ever seen it's not finished yet <laughs> but it also stands it's freestanding so i'm calling it my well i suppose you get friendship umbrellas so this is going to be like a friendship rosette <laughs> if you get what i mean I just had this idea and that I wanted to make one that stood up that you could put in a corner or put on a shelf in your craft room. So that'll be obviously for friend mail. I'm, I'm not keeping it myself. Although I wish I could because I just haven't got room. I've got the smallest craft room. You will not believe. One of these days I'll give you a tour when, I'm, when I've tidied. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then... I'm in a Facebook group and we do, um, it's the only Facebook group I take part in and we do, um, we're doing a circle journal at the moment between us all. So we all make a journal and I think there's nine of us in the group and then each month the journal gets passed on, each of our journals gets passed on to the next person. So I've just received mine. My, the, the theme for mine was your town because I'm nosy and I wanted to see where everybody lived. Um, the theme for this one, I think it's the lovely Laura, who sent me this one, is um, pop art. So yeah, let me show you this, because it's amazing. Pop art is not something I've ever done. It's just a little note. Is nothing I've ever done. And I said to Steve, my husband, that... Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to research this. So you've got to sign in with a little ATC card that she's put in there. She's put in a little introduction. Telling everybody about it and why she picked it and all that. And then we had to do the first spread. And this is the spread that she's done. Isn't that brilliant? I love that. I never knew what pop art was, but now I know. <laughs> so, and I love this. She sprayed this with inks, all different shimmery inks and things. And it's amazing. absolutely love it. And that page as well. So, yeah, obviously, now I'll get the next spread. I'm so, so glad she's made the pages removable. Because I didn't, and I'm a bit worried about that now in case some, somebody else's work gets rubbished. 
So obviously I've got a spread of my own that I can do now. I've got a month to do it in. So I shall enjoy coming up with something for that. And then I will show you, obviously, once I've finished it, I will show you my spread. Um, so yeah, that's that for now. Um, I'm coming on with a haul video next, I do believe. It. So, or whichever order these go up in, there'll be a haul, haul video as well. Okay then. So if you like this video, guys, please like. Please subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get my notifications. And thank you to all my new subscribers. And because I've had a little bit of a surge lately. Um, because I'm running a challenge. So if you'd like to take part in that challenge, go to go back and take a look at the video. Um, for all the rules of entry and everything else. And yeah. So thank you to all of my subscribers you're all wonderful wonderful people the community on youtube is so supported so loving so understanding and you know it's just been one of the best things that's ever happened to me is coming on here so yeah thank you very much guys from the bottom of my heart seriously thank you so yeah that's it that's enough mushiness for one night and I will see you in the next video. Okay, try bye.